Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today we're going to be taking a look at a new distro for the Raspberry Pi 4 known as Apple Pi OS Big Sur Edition. Now this is coming to us from Raspberry Pi Projects and more over here on YouTube. I'll leave a link to the channel in the description. You can head over there, download the image, and flash it to an SD card if you'd like to. And I just want to mention that the password here is Apple Pie OS, all lowercase, no spaces. So yeah, I'm a big fan of the look here. I think it looks absolutely amazing. This is actually based on Manjaro KDE Plasma 20.08. So basically, we're running Manjaro here with its skin to look like OS X, Big Sur, and a lot of applications pre-installed that otherwise we would have to compile from source to get them to work in Manjaro. So a lot of the work's been done here, and I'm a big fan of these ease of use distros. Basically, everything you need is already installed, but if you did need to install something, we can head over here to software, add remove software and we can uninstall anything that's already pre-installed with this or we can go in and just install whatever we'd like there's a ton of stuff here I'm gonna go with bomber apply password is apple pie OS we're now installed we can head down to the app doc and use Launchpad to start up anything. And this looks really great on here. So I installed Bomber. There we go. We can start playing from here. So yeah, lots of great stuff. OBS Studio is pre-installed, PPSSPP. If we go in here, there's no games pre-installed, but all you need to really do is connect a controller, add your games, Messing around with the settings a little bit for harder to run games and you'll have PSP up and running. Same thing with the Dolphin Emulator and RetroArch. We also have Chromium Media Edition. And this is a little different than I've seen in the past, but this is by Monk and it's using Docker to get this up and running. You will have to put your password in. But what this is going to allow us to do is access DRM content like Netflix, HBO, Amazon Prime, and so on and so on. So I'll just head over to Netflix real quick and give you a little demo. I'll just go with Ancient Aliens. And we can watch DRM content right here. Skip ahead a little bit. So if you want to do Amazon Prime, HBO, Hulu, and even Netflix, it does work on here. We do have OBS Studio installed, so you can record your screen if you need to. You can also record other devices as long as you can connect them to the Raspberry Pi. One thing that I really like about this is the Minecraft Launcher. So if I go to Games, we have Multi-MC pre-installed. And I've already signed in here. So I'll just launch Minecraft, and this is the Java version of Minecraft. I'm using 1.15. It does take a little bit of time to load up, but as soon as we're in here, we can start a single player game. You do have to be signed into your official Java account. Let everything kind of load in a little bit. We're still on a Raspberry Pi, remember. But we do have the Java version of Minecraft up and running in Apple Pie OS Big Sur Edition. So overall, I've been having a good time with this, and we also have Pi Imager pre-installed and a native Discord app for the Raspberry Pi 4. So this is a fully functional Discord app that'll run on the Raspberry Pi 4 in this operating system. You will have to sign in just like you would with any Discord app, but it is working here. Overall, performance has been decent. It's definitely a lot slower than Raspbian, and that's really how it's been with Manjaro on the Raspberry Pi 4. And it's kind of transferring over to this. Now, personally, I would prefer something like Twister OS, but this is a cool little change. I do like all of the little tweaks that have been done here, but I'd really like to see this in a Raspbian build because in my opinion, Raspbian just runs so much better on the Raspberry Pi 4. 
But if you're interested in trying this out, I will leave a link in the description to the Raspberry Pi projects and more YouTube page to the specific video where he goes over some of the stuff that's included with this. He's got a download there and all you'll need to do is download the image and flash it to a micro SD card like you would any other Raspberry Pi image. Once you boot it up, you'll just have to put your password in and you'll be up and running with Apple Pie OS Big Sur Edition. But that's pretty much it for this video. Really appreciate you watching. And if you do end up using this, make sure you go through the readme. It's right on the desktop. Got lots of great information. If you get stuck, you can always head over to his YouTube channel and ask a question in the comments below. But that's it for this one. I want to give a big shout out to Raspberry Pi Projects and more. I love the work that he's been doing. He's been building a few different distros for the Raspberry Pi 4. And I think he's been doing an amazing job with it. So I definitely suggest heading over to his channel and subscribing because this isn't the last one we're going to see. But like always, thanks for watching.